Hi, I'm going to show you how to create your snow person snow globe. So this is our canvas. We're drawing everything here. These are our directions. And these over here are images that we can add to our composition. The first thing that you want to do is you want to draw your snow person. And so we're going to need the shape tool. The shape tool is right here. See that? If I hover, it says shape. I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to choose circles because a snow person is usually three to four circles. So I'm going to start by drawing a circle. It doesn't matter what color it is right now. Okay, and then I'm going to change the color to whatever I want. I'm going to choose white and I can leave it with that black outline. But if I don't like that, I can go right here and just say transparent. And now there's no outline. Now I could go to shape and I could get the circle again and I could draw another circle just like I did. Or there's a trick here. I can right click and I can go to copy. And then I can right click and I can go to paste. And now I've got two circles that are exactly the same, but I can put this one on top and then I can make it a little bit smaller because remember how a snow person gets smaller as they go taller. So I'm going to do that same thing, copy, paste, and now I have to make the head and the head's going to be even smaller. So now I have a snow person. Now I'm going to want to have eyes and a mouth and all those things. And you can use the shape tool for those as well. So one more thing I want to show you that's kind of cool with Google Drawings is how to draw a scarf. Now a scarf, if I go to shape, there's not a scarf shape really right here, but I can use the line tool to make a shape. So what I do is I go over here where it says the line tool, see the line tool? And I'm going to scroll all the way down to this arrow that's called polyline. And I'm going to click. Now I get to draw. So I'm going to click and move and click and move and click and move. So see how I'm sort of creating a shape? I just keep clicking and keep moving. And then when I get back here to the beginning, it'll make a shape. Now that I have my shape, I can change the color to whatever I want. Let's say I wanted to have a purple scarf. And now I have a purple scarf. And if I don't want to draw any more shapes, I just go right here to the arrow tool. The arrow tool is our select tool. So now that I have my select tool, I can go over here and I can drag items over to um, add to my artwork. So Here's my hat. Now, do you see what happened when I drove over my hat? It's not on top of my snow person. It's behind my snow person. That's not what I want. So I'm going to right click. So I'm going to right click on the image and I'm going to go right here to order. And do you see it gives me some options? I'm going to choose bring to front. Now it's on top. So every time I want something on top, I just bring it to front. And do you see how I'm making it bigger or smaller? I can make it a giant hat. I can make it a smaller hat. I can use this little circle to tilt it if I want to. So there's my hat. And I would keep dragging over items to add things. And I've got mittens. You don't have to use everything over here. You can use just some of the things. I did want to show you this cool trick with lights. So do you see the lights? Do you see how small they are? I can make the lights bigger by dragging this out. There we go. So those are my lights. And I can move them wherever I want them to go. Another thing that I could do Let's say I don't want the lights to be so big. I could have them be small and I could copy and then paste. And then I could join them together like I'm making a large string of lights or a long string of lights. So same thing, right click, copy, right click, paste, and drag it over. Now, let's say that there's something I want that's not here in my image bank. How would I get that? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to insert, you're going to go to image, and you're going to go to search the web. So now that you're here, let's say that I want a cup of cocoa. So I'm going to type in cup of cocoa, and then I'm going to type in transparent background. And that's going to give me images that don't have a background. So now I have all these different choices. Let's say I like this cup of cocoa. I just click, drag, and wait. Now it's really big, so I might have to shrink it, make it smaller. I can put it wherever I want in my composition. So let's say I'm totally finished. Now I'm ready to share with friends. There's two ways that you can do that. The first is I can go to share, and I can click here to say change and make sure it says anyone on the internet with this link can view. 
And then I'm going to copy the link. It gives me a link, and I can paste that link to share with my friends or to turn into my teacher. There's another way I can also do it. I can go to File. I can go to Download. And I can choose PNG Image. That's going to download it to your computer or to your Google Drive. See, it just downloaded it right here. And now you can post that image on social media. It's your choice, however, or turn it into your teacher. It's your choice, however you want to share it with friends. Do double check with your teacher about how you can share things. So this is just how you get started with the Snow Person Snow Globe. I hope you have fun creating it, and I hope you come up with lots of creative ideas. Thanks so much.